preparation methods of aldehydes. Methods used to prepare aldehydes only. First one from acyl halides. Acyl group means CH3CO group. This group is known as acyl group. So this is acetyl chloride or ethanoyl chloride. Ethanoyl chloride. When treated with a hydrogen in the presence of palladium barium sulfate catalyst. This chlorine atom will be replaced by hydrogen. So this is a reduction reaction. Addition of hydrogen. Hydrogenation in the presence of palladium barium sulfate catalyst. Ethanoyl chloride. This chlorine will be replaced by hydrogen. So the product of thing will be CH3COH. That means we get ethanol. This reaction is named as Rosamund reduction. So Rosamund reduction involves the reaction hydrogenation of an acyl chloride or acid halide with the hydrogen in the presence of palladium barium sulfate catalyst. The halogen atom will be replaced by or halogen atom is reduced to hydrogen. Another example, this is benzene ring then uh, CO group. This is called a benzoyl group. This is benzoyl chloride. Benzoyl chloride with the same reagent means hydrogenation with the palladium barium sulfate catalyst. Uh, here also the halogen atom will be substituted by hydrogen. Here we get an aromatic aldehyde. This is benzaldehyde. This reaction of an acid chloride or an acid halide with the hydrogen in the presence of palladium barium sulfate to give aldehyde. Corresponding aldehyde is called Rosamund reduction. Now, second method. Aldehydes can be made from nitrides. Nitrides means cyanides containing cyanobium. So, let's take a nitride RCN cyanide or nitride. When it is treated with a reducing end, this is also reduction, stannous chloride, SNCl2 and hydrochloric acid. Stannous chloride and hydrochloric acid. Here also reduction takes place. First initially an intermediate will be produced. You can see here, hydrogen will be added to this carbon triple bond N. One of the pi bond breaks, one hydrogen added here, one hydrogen added here and we get initially R. CH double bond NH. This C double bond N bond containing compound is called imine. This is known as imine. This is alkyl here. There is an alkyl group. Hence it is called alkyl imine. So an alkyl imine is formed in the first step. This alkyl imine undergo acid hydrolysis. H3O plus and form aldehyde. R C H O is the product. This reaction is known as Stephen reaction. Name reactions are particularly important. Cyanides or nitriles, when react with the stannous chloride and HCl, they are reduced to aldehyde through the formation of an imine. This reaction is called Stephen reaction. Now we have another reaction to convert cyanides to or nitrides to aldehyde. That is using another reagent. Here an alkyl cyanide. When treated with another reducing agent here we have. That is diisobutyl aluminium hydride. Diisobutyl aluminium hydride. This compound is abbreviated as dibalex. Di isobutyl aluminium hydride. That is to the aluminium. This is aluminium hydride to which isobutyl group. Isobutyl group. How many are there? Two. Diisobutyl aluminium hydride. This is the group. This group, when react with an alkyl nitrile, 
we get cyanide group will be reduced to aldehyde R C H so this is another reagent used to, to convert nitriles to aldehyde in Stefan reaction we use stannous chloride and HCl this dibal H has the speciality it would selectively reduce cyanide group only if there is any double bond or any other functional group present in the compound that will not be affected. This group, the bar H, will selectively reduce the cyanides to aldehyde. Not only cyanides, this the bar H can be used to reduce esters also. For example, CH3, CH2, CH2, CO, O, C to H5. This is an ester. Ester group. This one when react with the dibalates. Diisobutyl aluminium hydride. Here also this uh, ester group will be reduced to aldehyde. That is this ester group will be reduced to aldehyde. We get the product CH3, CH2, CH2, CHO. The product. So, Dibar H will selectively reduce esters and the nitrites to the aldehyde group. So, cyanides and esters can be converted to aldehyde by using these reagents. Now, the next method aldehydes can be prepared from hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons can be converted to aldehydes. This can be used for the preparation of aromatic aldehyde. To get an aromatic aldehyde, we need to start with an aromatic compound. Right? Say toluene. Let the compound be toluene. What is toluene? To the benzene ring, CH3 group is attached. Ethyl benzene or toluene. If here we need to ox conduct oxidation reaction. The CH3 group should be oxidized to aldehyde. If here if you use strong oxidizing agent like a potassium permanganate, KMnFO, the CH3 group will be oxidized to carboxylic acid. But we need to stop the reaction at the aldehyde stage. We need to prepare aldehyde here. So in order to control the oxidation reaction, some mild oxidizing agent you need to use here. So that reagent will convert the CH3 group into an intermediate, unstable intermediate that would prevent further oxidation reaction. So one such a reagent used for the conversion of toluene into uh, aldehyde, aromatic aldehyde is chromyl chloride. CrO2Cl2. This is chromyl chloride. So this chromyl chloride will react with the CH3 group of the toluene and form an unstable chromium complex will be produced. That is benzene ring. Here this CH to the CH bond this chromium complex will be introduced. That is O C R O H twice. Cl2 twice. This is a chromium complex formed as an intermediate. This is unstable. It would readily undergo acid hydrolysis and produce benzaldehyde. This complex group is reduced to aldehyde. This is benzaldehyde. That is the reagent, the oxidizing agent chromyl chloride, mild oxidizing agent, convert the CH3 group into a chromium complex which is unstable. So, uh, complete oxidation of CH3 group is prevented. So, we get the product as aldehyde. This reaction is called ITAD reaction. Another name reaction, ITAD reaction. Reaction of toluene or aromatic hydrocarbon with the 
chromyl chloride now another reagent which is used for the same conversion that is toluene toluene can be converted to benzaldehyde using instead of chromyl chloride we can use another reagent that is chromic anhydride or chromic oxide chromic oxide and acetic anhydride what is acetic anhydride ch3 co o co ch3 this is called acetic anhydride at a temperature of 273 to 278 kelvin here also we get an unstable intermediate in the beginning that involve a grouping called benzyl this is benzyl group ch o c o c h 3 noise this is called benzylidene diacetate is an unstable intermediate it would undergo acid hydrolysis h 3 o plus on heating and give benzaldehyde so this is another reagent to convert toluene and its derivatives to benzaldehyde now we have one more method to convert toluene again into benzaldehyde side chain halogenation reaction for example if you carry out chlorination reaction chlorination reaction in the presence of heat or light here it shows light in the presence of light what happens initially the hydrogen atoms of methyl group substituted by chlorine so initially we get a compound in which two hydrogen atom of methyl group substituted by chlorine chcl2 this is called benzyl benzyl chloride this group c6h5 ch group is called benzyl this is chloride benzyl chloride it would undergo hydrolysis at 3 centigrade kelvin to get benzyl So this reaction is called side chain halogenation reaction. Alkyl group, alkyl group, the hydrogen atom replaced by chlorine, which on hydrolysis gives benzaldehyde. Now we have one more method to convert aromatic hydrocarbons into aldehyde, which is called the Gatterman-Koch reaction. The name of the reaction is Gatterman. Koch reaction. In this reaction, benzene and its derivative. This is benzene. React with carbon monoxide and HCl in the presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride or cuprous chloride. Here also the conversion is. Product is benzaldehyde. Benzene can be converted to benzaldehyde by treating with the carbon monoxide and hydrochloric hydrogen chloride in the presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride or cuprous chloride. This reaction is called a Gatterman-Koch reaction. So these are the methods for the preparation of aldehydes only. These methods used for the preparation of aldehydes. Similarly, we need to explain the preparation methods of ketones. methods used to prepare ketones we have two methods explained the first one from acid chloride again the first method the same as aldehyde no acid chloride or acyl chloride so an acid chloride let it be general form the rcocl when it is treated with a reagent here use this cadmium chloride not cadmium chloride dialkyl cadmium the alkyl group is denoted by differently by r dash dialkyl cadmium this is dialkyl cadmium here cadmium chloride will be limited cadmium chloride is the by product and this r dash group is bonded to CO carbon. That means that is here we get a compound of cadmium and chlorine. Then R C O 
water to R dash. Two molecules. Two. And this dialkyl dialkyl cadmium is made from cadmium chloride. Cadmium chloride when react with a Grignard reagent. R M G X. This is Grignard reagent. We get dialkyl cadmium for the reaction. Plus N G X C L. And this dialkyl cadmium. Dialkyl cadmium react with the acid chloride and we get ketone. Ketones are obtained. Now the second method. Ketones can be made from nitrites. From nitrites. Nitrites can be converted to ketones. For example, if you take CH3, CH2, CN. Nitrite. When it is treated with a Grignard reagent. Grignard reagent, for example, phenyl, magnesium, bromide. Here we know the Cl group is polar. Nitrogen more electronegative, so one of the pi bond break during the reaction and electron pair move towards nitrogen, making nitrogen and the negative, carbon and the positive. Grignard reagent is also polar. NGBR part positive, carbon atom partially negative. So the initially addition reaction takes place. That is to the positive carbon atom this negative C6H5 group attached. Let's write CH3, CH2, C to the positive carbon atom which group is attached? C6H5. C6H5 which is negative carbon is attached to this positive carbon. Now this triple bond becomes double bond and to the nitrogen atom which is negative Positive part is attached, MGBR. We get an adduct, addition product is obtained. This addition product undergo hydrolysis. Acid hydrolysis. Hydrolysis in the presence of acid. Here we get ketone as the final product. CH3, CH2, C, C6H5, double bond O. This group is oxidized to ketone. Can you give the name of this compound? This can be written as C double bond O C6 H5. This is our parent compound. It is numbered 1, 2, 3. First carbon atom contain substituent phenyl. So it can be named as 1 phenyl. 1 phenyl propan 1 on. Is the name. 1 phenyl propanone. Its common name is propiophenone. 